Hi, welcome all. Welcome to the Micro Valley Made Easy session. So today we'll discuss about the lab diagnosis of a dog tapeworm. So here a lab diagnosis of dog tapeworm or Echinococcus granulosus. So laboratory diagnostic methods are by imaging technique. The first technique is the imaging. Next is examination of cyst fluid. The third is Cassonese test. Then the fourth one is a zero diagnosis. Then fifth one is the other test. So under imaging technique, ultrasonography, CT scan, MRI, X-ray, IV, IV pilogram for renal cysts. So these all are the imaging techniques. So here USG ultrasonography, CT for CT scan for extrahepatic diseases, MRI for cysts in spinal vertebrate and cardiac cysts. So X-ray for bones and lungs. So for intravenous pilogram for the renal cysts. So next is examination of cyst fluid. So here it reveals the scoliosis, brood capsules and booklets. So here the diagnostic puncture of cyst is not recommended. So they are uh, taking the hydrated fluid. So which will choose the scoliosis, brood capsule and booklets. The next third one is Cassonese test. This is the immediate hypersensitivity skin test. The next under a zero diagnosis, those are antibody detection. That is a uh, with IHA, indirect hemagglutination, ELISA, CFT, and precipitation tests. Next is antigen, that is for double diffusion, counter immuno electrophores, that is CIED. The next is others, that is blood examination, which shows eosinophilia. The next is molecular diagnosis by DNA probes and PCR technique. The next is Cassonese test. So, what is Cassonese test? Cassonis test as an immediate hypersensitivity skin test introduced by the scientist. The name if the scientist is Cassoni. So in the year 1911. So here they are using the fresh sterile hydrated, hydrated fluid. So here from the they are taking the antigen of the hydrated fluid that is collected from the human or animal hydrated cyst. From the animal or human hydrated cyst, they are collecting the antigen. So that is sterilized with uh, seeds or membrane filters. Uh, then after that they are collecting that is 0.2 ml which is injected into right arm. That is 0.2 ml injected into the right arm. The, this is the test. The next is the second arm is control. So control arm they are giving the sterile normal saline solution that is also equal amount that is 0.2 ml. For right arm, that is the test control. Left arm, that is 0.2 ml. So equal volume of first for right arm, they are giving 0.2 ml of antigen, hydrated antigen solution. For left arm control, they are giving only normal saline, that is 0.2 ml. So after that, they uh, after uh, 20 hours, so we can observe the a positive reaction shows a wheel flare like reaction that is wheel will be seen within 5 centimeter of diameter with multiple pseudopodia within half an hour so no need of 20 hours within half an hour we can observe the wheel and flare like reaction will be seen with multiple pseudopodia so this is the immediate hypersensitivity test if there will be a wheel and immediate uh, pseudo uh, multiple pseudopodias will be there means that is the patient is positive for hydatid disease so this is the important test for short notes so next is blood examination which shows eosinophilia that is 20 to 25 percent so here it is a normal and the eosinophilia so eosinophils will be normal range it is more in abnormal that is blood examination results the eosinophilia so serological tests elisa and linked immunosorbent next is complement fixation next is iha indirect heme agglutination so cyst fluid so they are aspirating the hydrated fluid from the hydrated cyst that is cyst fluid so aspirated from that next the microscopic examination with trichrome straining so they are collecting the hydrated fluid with this they are doing the staining method that is trichrome straining which shows the scoliosis brood capsule and hooklets so staining will be like this so if they will be observed with this 
So radiological examination that is X-ray, then X ultrasono and CT. They will show the hydatid cysts. These are the hydatid cysts. So it will be seen with radiological examinations. So hydatid cysts. These are the cysts of liver. Hydatid cysts. This is the second picture, which is the liver inside, which is on the hydatid cysts. So here they are the surgically removed. So here it is the surgically removed cysts. So histological examination. So surgically removed cysts will be examined to reveal the different layers of hydatid cysts. So from the surgically removed cysts, they are asking for the histological examination. So treatment will be surgical removal is the best method. The next is recurrence may occur two to twenty five percent. So they are using the drugs praziquintol and albendazole. So here. the prophylactic measures so improve in personal hygiene so here we have to take the personal hygiene next is don't allow the dogs to eat carcasses of slaughtered animals so this is the prophylactic measures so here thank you for watching uh, please do subscribe my channel microbiology made easy it will be helpful for you for you for easy preparation thank you